Alright, let's get on with this. I'm going to be honest with you right now, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a cold. I've got a blocked nose. I'm phlegmy all around. I've got a waxy build up in my left and my right ear. And a lot of uh, snot right here. That's right, I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm not bringing sexy back, of course I'm not. I am bringing writer nerdy chic back. <laughs> Literally, people come up to me straight and they never say, Oh, you, you could be anything. You could be a lawyer, or a doctor, or a zookeeper. No, they say, you're either a writer or a serial killer. <laughs> can't you picture that? You can't go home late at night, you take your shoes off, you wipe off your makeup, you do your teeth. And there's just me in your bedroom making awkward eye contact, ready to kill. I don't know why I'm specifically a killer of women in this example. I take what I'm given. <laughs> but I am a writer. But it's good to know I don't know. You know, I have a fallback just in case. You know, writer doesn't work out. Serial killer. But uh, no, I do dress like this on purpose because uh, if I like wore a hoodie with these glasses and this hair, people would think I work for Google. <laughs> That's not. I'm very, very glad I'm not bringing sexy back because I'll tell you right now, this is an honest confession. I'm not suited to being anybody's boyfriend. Anyone's. I am actually a very, very bad person. And I realized this specifically recently, right? Because uh, I was thinking to myself, one day I might want kids. I want a little Ollie running around. Then I realized, no, no, I fucking don't. And it's for a very, very specific reason. Quite a pathetic one. Trust me, it, you're going to think the worst of me after this. What if, through no fault of my own, what if, what if my kid's just a cunt? <laughs> Nobody thinks of that. What if your kid is just a bit of a cunt? And you can't help it. You, nobody raises Hitler to be a bad person. Hitler just was a cunt. What if there are time travellers right now from the year 2070 ready to kill me for creating the sequel to Hitler? <laughs> just in case, prevent any potential gunshots. <laughs> We're good, it's fine. We're fine. Uh, I wonder if my parents thought about that kind of stuff before they had me though, because they got something far, far worse than a the cunt. They got our sarcastic wanker. Hi. <laughs> Hello. But, no, they're great parents and I do love them, but they did something very irresponsible when I was about nine or ten. I went to them and said, Mum, Dad. Oh. Mum, Dad! I want to be an actor. And they said, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what? If, if you went up to your parents and said, Mum, Dad, I want to be royally fucked for the rest of my life, they don't say yes. They say, But, but uh, as I said earlier, I'm not bringing sexy back, so it's no surprise to anyone when I say, yeah, I'm single. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not, you know, that's not a reaction I wanted. I wanted, like, a, like when they reveal a prize in a game show, I wanted a... <laughs> so, and I know it's a lot of drama students here, so I know you're ready to do this. Let's try that again. Ladies and gentlemen, behind curtain number one, we have... This uh, ginger guy, too tall to stand through most doors, <laughs> masturbates too much for his own good, and uh, we know it, he cries into his pillow most nights. Now. Ooh, that was so cool. I'm gonna go to my grave with that. That's amazing. <laughs> and now, uh, this is gonna sound bitter, and that's because it is. <laughs> It was Valentine's Day recently, don't fucking woo that. I swear to God, don't woo Valentine's Day. And uh, I went to the shop because it was the first time in my life that I was really happy that I was single for Valentine's Day. I was really pleased because I go to the shop and I see all these fucking idiotic blokes running around trying to buy like heart-shaped chocolates and flowers that really were about two quid fifty. And so I thought, fuck this, I, uh, I bought some flowers, I bought some heart-shaped chocolates, I bought a nice really Pizza Express pizza, you know, a bit more expensive, bottle of wine, massive box of condoms, and uh, a woman at the counter says, oh, you're stocking up for Valentine's Day, aren't I? I say, nope. <laughs> no, just, just, just alone. I recently, I'm uh, actually getting better at life because I uh, got to the point very recently. Hey, 
I, you know I'm getting better. Uh, I see my ex-girlfriends and I've only just got to the point where I'm not angry and depressed when they have a new boyfriend, which I think is actually quite good. Um, so now all I do is, uh, when I see them, I see the bloke and I see the girl, I look to the bloke and I go, uh, are you two together? And he goes, yeah, yeah I know. And I laugh in his fucking face. <laughs> He gets all indignant. He goes, hey, hey, we're in love. And I'm like, so are we. <laughs> <laughs> That's a depressing laugh from Sam Day. <laughs> but uh, no, I am a very angry and bitter person. I was looking recently, what caused all of this? What is my secret origin? I'm too young to have had a messy divorce. I'm too young to have had a horrible drug addiction. And if you have had one, I don't want to fucking hear about it. <laughs> It's an LMS gig, come on. <laughs> I'm going to at least get two people after the show yelling at me for that. And um, I realised it's just because of bad relationships at age 16. Pathetic. If somebody came up to me, a 16 year old came up to me seeking some bastion of wisdom, which people do. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, hey buddy, what's wrong? And uh, they said, oh, I don't know what to do, my girlfriend just dumped me. Once again, I would laugh in his fucking face. <laughs> 16 years old, pathetic. But uh, I do, I do get very, very angry at the smallest of things. Recently, and I'm a smoker, so I try to make concessions for non-smokers, because it's horrible when somebody smokes in your face and you don't like it. So uh, I was at a bus stop, it was raining, so I was outside the shelter, and there was this woman there, she was throwing me sidelong glances. I'm like, I'm doing everything right, you can't be angry. But I hear this noise, this... <laughs> every few seconds, I shot her five fucking times. So I was working out a few different punchlines for that one. Uh, my favourite was, I got so angry, I gave her dyslexia. <laughs> like, it's not killing her. It's not, you know, harming her. But it's fucked up. You go through your whole life knowing how to spell the word dog. And then, whoops! I want that. I want the dyslexia serum. If it exists. But, um, okay, so we hit the writer stereotype. I hit all the cliches. Smoker, coffee drinker. Of course I'm a coffee drinker. Everyone's a coffee drinker at fucking Yumi. Yeah. And uh, there's a really weird secret world of coffee right underneath the one we know. And uh, I like to call that world of coffee cat shit coffee. That sounds like a long sequitur. It's not. It's real. It's a thing. There's a type of coffee which, when you drink it, it has to first be eaten by a cat, digested, shat out, and then made into coffee. I want to be at the pitch meeting for that. There was a guy who probably went up to Costa and said, oh, I've got a really nice new coffee, it's been reviewed well at all the coffee reviewing websites. And uh, it's really nice, but there's a catch. The guy goes, what's the catch? Mr. Tibbles gets a bash at it first. <laughs> Fucked up, no, fuck the meeting, I want to meet the guy. I want to meet this bloke who eats cat shit regularly enough for him to get bored of it and decide to try a few new things. Make some coffee out of it. Go Heston Blumenthal. Because he woke up one morning and he said, I'm going to be the best me that I can be today. And that means cat shit coffee. So if there's a message I want you all to take from my set today, it is be the best you you can be today. Even if that includes cat shit coffee. Now, I've got one more joke for you. No, actually, fuck it, I've got two. I've got two more jokes for you today. Um, the first one is, because I used to do this a long time ago when I was about 15 years old. So uh, I'll, take, I'll give you a joke from that set. What's the deal with GCSEs? <laughs> and also, anybody else got these pew things yet? They're a bit strange. Are everyone's ginger? <laughs> And my last joke, and I swear it is my last, I know. Um, this is an actual proper joke, it's not just a rambling story, it's a joke joke. My psychiatrist told me the other day, you're very self-destructive, Ollie. At which point my imaginary girlfriend left me. <laughs> That's a grower, think about that later. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm on the party